Good morning guys and welcome to another day trip. Today I have taken you to Cordoba. I just arrived and gosh, I had some problems with my ticket. Oh shit, there are people there. <laughs> I had some problems with my ticket on the train because I bought them yesterday online and I got an email and obviously I assumed that they had sent me a PDF file in that email which would include my tickets but turns out they hadn't so I only had the confirmation of my reservation um, but not my actual ticket so and I only realized that once I was already on the train etc but um, there was a situation where it came in handy that I'm well small and a woman and cute and innocent looking when I made my eyes look all big and dewy um, and the man uh, and the conductor was an old man so that was easy game no <laughs> but like honestly I was just like ah sorry I'm so sorry can you like help me with this and it was no problem but like right now when I arrived I made sure to print out my ticket for like my my way back already so that that won't be a problem but anyways that was that but now we're here and it is bright and early and um, I have a ticket for 11 o'clock like the biggest thing to do here I will tell you more about it when we're on that um, but until then let's explore Okay guys, we have now arrived at our destination right here and that is the Mesquita Cathedral, which means Mosque Cathedral and it is exactly what it says it is. So the um, very special part uh, about Cordoba is that um, lies in its history. Now Cordoba started out as a Roman settlement and was then conquered by the Muslims and became the provincial uh, capital of the Umayyad uh, Caliphate which I'm sure I'm mispronouncing, so I beg your pardon for that. Um, and then later on in history, it got reconquered by the, the Catholics, which means that in Cordoba, as well as, um, I, I talked about this briefly in my Salamanca and Sevilla vlog, uh, that also in Sevilla, you can see this Moorish architecture, which is a mixture of Arabian, Muslim, and Roman Catholic architecture, styles, etc., which you can see all over the city and also and especially in buildings such as this, which used to be a mosque and is now a cathedral. Um, it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and yours truly is gonna check it out now. Wow, this is so impressive having these like classical church cathedral cells right here and then looking over and having a completely different set of architecture. Wow, you guys, that was absolutely breathtaking. That was stunning. I have never in my life seen anything like this. I have seen a ton, a plethora, a magnitude of churches and cathedrals and all of that. Honestly, I believe there's no church in Italy left that I have not yet seen. Uh, but I have never seen a church like that, that with these elements of the mosque. It was honestly, wow, so, so beautiful and so unique. Like when you were standing in that like very, in the very bright and white and golden nave in the middle of the structure, and then you exited out and you were standing in this middle in the middle of this forest of columns, interconnected with these double tiered arches with the alternating white stone and brick colors. Wow, honestly, so beautiful. 
and um, what you see right here behind me that used to be the minaret of the mosque but they um, converted it into a bell tower so that you can now not even see anymore that it used to be a minaret or like at least i don't see which part of the original mi um, minaret would still be there <laughs> um but wow that was that was really really special i can understand why it is a world heritage site okay <laughs> Okay guys, and thus already concludes our Cordova adventure. Like, the, the town itself is pretty small, so there's not that much to do, which is why um, right now I'm chilling in this park and I will be reading a bit. And then I'm already heading back to the train station. Um, so can I recommend Cordova to you? I would say, Max, come here for a day trip. Like, I don't see any reason to stay here for like several nights or days. Um, that Moss Cathedral, personally, I think is definitely worth coming here. That was honestly, I think like a once, like one of a kind, once in a lifetime kind of experience. So in that sense, definitely. But like for the town itself, um, you would probably not need to come here. It is, it is cute for sure. Um, but yeah, I don't need, I don't know, I don't know. It's. Uh, not that special maybe though the rest of it but i mean if you're staying in sevilla um cordoba is only one and a half less than one and a half hours on a train ride um away so for that mosque mosque cathedral definitely come here <laughs> 